Consider a stochastic process that is represented by the following state diagram. We have three states, one, two, and three. And one and two can communicate with each other, or you can have the trajectories of one and two follow each other. But if you go to state three, then you never leave state three, you stay in the same state. Such a stochastic process has the property that every state cannot be reached from every other state and we call such a stochastic process reducible. On the other hand, if every state can be reached can be reached from every other state, in a finite number of steps, then it's called irreducible, which is the opposite. Some stochastic processes have states that are mutually unreachable from each other. Consider this process. So you have four states, and we can go from one to three, and three back to one, and you can go from two to four, and uh, four back to two, but you can't go from one to f uh, two or two to three. So in fact, we can sort of separate them into two chains like this, one and uh, three, and uh, two and four, which are essentially not talking to each other. And we call, in this situation, we call this a separable a stochastic process with separable subchains. Note that a stochastic process which has separable sub subchains is automatically reducible because uh, we cannot communicate between these two states in a finite number of steps.